Hi there, welcome back to another The Fashion Room tutorial. I don't know whether you remember that a few weeks ago I told you, I explained um, how to wear um, a blanket scarf. Um, well, this week I'm going to tell you again, it's like episode 2 of um, ways of wearing a blanket scarf. The difference is that a few weeks ago I told you how to wear the um, square, not sorry, a few weeks ago it was um, a rectangular um, blanket scarf and this week is going to be square blanket scarf. It's mainly to show you that you can wear them both the same way but also looking a bit different because of the shape and the volume and um, I am also including a couple of different ways. So I'm going to show you now how to start. Well this is the um, square blanket scarf as you can see. Um, every time I wear it I start by placing it on a triangle shape. So we get one corner and we put it together with the opposite one until we get this triangle shape. I don't know whether you can see it but that's what we get. And then from this we roll it. Roll it but in a very casual way. We don't try to do it perfectly because the, the, the nice things about these scarves is like make you look casual. So from this point, I kind of like leaving these two ends um, sticking out. From this way, we put it across around our neck. I'm going to show you um, one of the ways I did with my um, rectangular scarf for you to see that you can do it either way. So from this, we go around one side and around the other. So with the rectangular scarf, what I did with these two ends, I tucked them in one side and the other side. What I'm going to do differently this time, because this scarf is longer and it allows me to do it, is just tie it at the front with one or two knots. That is up to you. And then you leave the knots on show or you hide them underneath. I prefer just to leave them like this. And the differences with the um, rectangular one as well is that because we left these two ends sticking out, you can also bring them to the front and show the ends like this, or put it on the side and then show the ends and the knots like so. So, as you can see, is a very similar way. The difference is that the material of the scarf is different as well, so this is like puffier, and because it makes the um, scarf look more casual, you just play with it as well. So for you to see that it's the same way, it looks a bit different, but it works both ways the same. Another way I showed you with the rectangular one was like the cowboy style with a triangle at the front. With the rectangular one I couldn't create that triangle perfectly because obviously it's rectangular so we cannot recreate um, we cannot create a triangle but we pretended to have a triangle. Well with this one we've got the triangle already here right in front of us so it's much much easier and it looks nicer also. So I'm going to show you how it looks with the proper triangle. We put it right in front of you, bring those two ends the back of your neck and cross them at the back and bring them forward again. And then you've got choices here. Leave these two ends loose like this, just right at the front. Tuck them in like this. Or also, because this blanket scarf is longer than the other one, you can bring these two ends right in front and tie them in a double knot. And then you just play with the scarf, make it a bit looser, move it to one side, you know, I quite like bringing the scarf to one side. To one side. And this is it, is again similar to the other one, but I think it looks nicer with the square scarf to be honest. 
you've got more choices as well. So this is it. And you see the back as well. That doesn't look perfect, which is what I like about these um, scarves as well. Make it look casual. You might have been trying to place it to wear it perfectly in front of the mirror for 10 minutes or half an hour, but nobody will know, or that's the point. Nobody should know that you've spent so long trying to wear it. Another way is, I um, don't know whether you remember, if not, I would really suggest you um, watch the video again. With the uh, rectangular scarf, I told you different ways of wearing it, like um, on top of your shoulders, covering your whole back. Well, with this one, you, we can do something similar. Again, starting from placing the scarf um, with a triangle shape, we place it like this, like a proper blanket. It's like you're watching telly on your living room. Um, the difference um, with, the, um, with the rectangular one is that the other one only covered us like half of our back. This one comes all the way down. We get the, point, the pointy end right here. I, I'm kind of, I kind of like it, say, if you're wearing a coat or a trench coat, you can wear it on top and then with the belt of your trench coat, just tie it and hold it in place. If you're wearing any other jacket or blazer, you still can wear it like this, just loose like that, like this, or cross it at the front and place a brooch or um, with the rectangular one I showed you, these, um, a safety pin, big safety pin, but either one or the other looks nice in the middle. Another way, which you might think it looks like my, grand, my grandma's, but I think it looks quite um, chic as well, and it also depends how you accessorize it, is just knotting it at the front, a double knot, just like this, and it just, you just hold it in place. And um, this is it really, just covering your whole back and the pointy at the back. Another way, I nearly forgot to tell you this one, is again with a belt. By holding these two pointy ends at the front, you get the belt. And tie it tight. the front and then you choose whether you want these two ends like wide covering your whole chest or you want to make it a bit thinner like this you just choose the back I personally like it loose but you could also hold it underneath your belt that is up to you whether you feel more comfortable or not this is um, another way similar to the one I showed you with the rectangular, but again, um, it looks different. And last one. Again, from the triangle, we put it all together. All together, as it comes, don't put too much effort. And with both ends, we just tie it, double knot again. The knot goes down and the other end goes around the neck. Cross it at the front and again we put it around the neck. It's like an infinity scarf really. And then it looks like this. I really like this way of wearing it. It's kind of, you, you can see there's some uh, knot sticking out here. You can either leave it the way it is, but I think it looks nicer if you just hide it. You can wear it loose like this. You might want to show a nice necklace or a nice shirt you are wearing. That is um, up to you. You can make one side looser and one side tighter. I think it looks nicer with both sides kind of loose. But this is all about playing with it. Tuck it in, make it loose, just play with it. I think it looks quite casual um, and quite nice also. 
So um, this is it. I hope you like you like the ways I showed you different ways, and um, I hope you learned something new. Um, if you liked it, pre please um, press like. Uh, also share with your friends. If you want any more tips about fashion, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. All my social media, you can find direct access on my website, thefashionroom.net. So thank you very much again for um, staying here with me. I hope to see you soon. Uh, thank you and goodbye.